Hello friends. Today we are going to talk about uh, IS code method. In order to find the lateral load carrying capacity of a pi QH. In last videos you have seen Ries and Matlock method, Davison and Gill method, and Brown's method. So in this video, we are going to talk about IS code method. IS code method. If you refer IS two nine double one part one. Section one two zero one zero. It deals with the lateral load carrying capacity of a long pipe, and uh, the pile could be free-headed or it could be fixed-headed pile. If it is a long pipe. The fracture of this long pie will take place where the moment is going to be maximum. So the failure of the pie is by fracture at the point of uh, maximum moment, and therefore we need to find out the maximum moment. And uh, we can find out the uh, from bending criteria or moment criteria, the lateral load carrying capacity of the pi, or from deflection criteria also we can find it out. Let's see how to do it. Let's see that this is a pi, pre-added pi. This pi is. embedded into the ground. There is the lateral force. Eccentricity is given as E. And the length of the pile is L. And the lateral dimension of the pile is D. So this is free headed pile. Or it could be a fixed headed pile. It could be like this. The Fixed at pi. QH is acting like this. Now you will have to find out here first of all the relative stiffness factor. So to find out this relative stiffness factor, what is the soil type that is important? If it is sandy bed or normally consolidated clay, then find out relative stiffness factor T equal to fifth root of Flexure rigidity of the pile divided by horizontal subgrade modulus of the soil mass, that is NH. If soil type is over consolidated or pre consolidated clays. Then you will have to find out the relative stiffness factor will be R, where R will be fourth root of 
Ei of pi material divided by modulus of subgrade reaction K into B, where B is the lateral dimension of the pi. Here the lateral dimension is D. So this formula is to be used and K you can find out from the plate load test. From plate load test on a 30 by 30 centimeter plate size, find out the modulus of subgrade reaction K1 divided by 1.5 and then you multiply it zero point three meter divided by B. So the value of K can be found out by using this expression. This K1 will be in kilonewton per cubic meter from the plate load test. So you perform PLT plate load test on thirty centimeter by thirty centimeter size of the plate and get the value of K1 in kilometer per cubic meter and therefore you will be able to calculate this value of k. So k is known. Now having found out the relative stiffness factor, the next is calculate L by T and if it is greater than or equal to 4 and also if it is uh, OC over consolidated clays then L by R should be greater than or equal to 3.5 then the pi is a long pi long and elastic pi when it is long and elastic pi then only we can use IS code method. IS code method cannot be applied to short pi. For short pi, you will have to use Brown's method. So having found out L by T this, now the next point is to find out the depth of fixity because it's a long pi. The pi is long one embedded into the ground. So what is the depth of fixity? Here you will have to find out the depth of fixity, Z depth. And therefore, to find out the depth of fixity, calculate eccentricity divided by T or eccentricity divided by R as the case may be and find out depth of fixity. ZF from the chart. This chart is given in IS29 level 1. So you can find out the depth of fixity. Having found out the depth of fixity, next you can find out the deflection. So deflection for free headed, this is free headed. This is fixed headed. So for free headed, the deflection is going to be QH E plus ZF cube divided by 3 for free headed. And if it is fixed headed, then the value of x will be QH 
P plus ZF whole Q divided by 12 E for fixed headed part. So you can find it out. So from deflection criteria, you can find out the QH. If the permissible deflection X is known to you, what is the permissible deflection at the ground level? You can always find it out and therefore you can find out the value of QH or you can find out the deflection from this expression. Next, from moment criteria, so next is to calculate the moment, maximum moment where it will be. At depth of fixity, there is going to be maximum moment. So, find out the maximum moment. Mu is given by QH into E plus ZF. This is the moment. This is the depth of fixity. This is the pi. This, this distance is E plus ZF. So here, the moment that comes into picture is QH into E plus ZF. So you can calculate it for three headed pi. And this MU, the maximum moment, can also be found out for uh, fixed headed, that is E plus ZF by 2. So if it is free headed, you can find it out. If it is fixed headed, and then from the chart for E by T and E by R, you can also find out a reduction factor for the moment. So reduction factor to be applied uh, to moment is called M. This you can find out from the chart. So when you refer the IS to 911, you can find out this moment. And having found out this moment, then it becomes quite simpler. You can always find out if it is free headed the value of qh will be mu this direction factor m must be multiplied with the maximum moment so whatever is the maximum moment this should be this is reduction factor you find out from the chart multiply it with m and therefore, you can find out from this maximum moment, the value of QH will be MU multiplied by this uh, reduction factor for the moment divided by P plus Z. This for free edit. Pi. And for fixated pi, QH will be how much? 2 times MU, 2 multiplied by this, and you multiply it with uh, the reduction factor divided by E plus Z for fixed headed pi. So this is how, in a very simple way, you can find out the value of QH, the lateral load carrying capacity of the pi, both from deflection criteria and from the maximum moment criteria.
I score method is quite simpler one, you can find it out. But only thing is, it is uh, applicable to long and elastic pipe. So you should use it with caution. Whatever steps have been given, these are quite simplistic in nature. So you can do it. Thank you very much.